Father Howard F. Marr, Order of Mercy. Howard Francis Marr, the only son of James and Helen Connell, was born in Brooklyn, New York, on March 7, 1912. He grew up in Immaculate Heart of Mary and Holy Ghost parishes, both in Brooklyn. He received his primary education in the Catholic School of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Brooklyn from 1919 to 1925, and high school from 1925 to 1929 at Mount St. Mary in Emmeritburg, Maryland. Coming from a family of solid Catholic faith, he felt in his heart the call of the Lord inviting him to the priesthood. Answering this call, from 1929 to 1933, he studied philosophy in the seminary of St. Bonaventure in New York, but interrupted his studies in order to obtain the means that allowed him to continue, working as a department store salesman and as a postman in the Jamaica, New York area. He continued his theological studies at the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. from 1938 to 1942. When he was almost at the end of his training, he again interrupted his studies to obtain once again the means to continue them, returning to his beloved New York. He worked for three more years during which he became aware of the existence of the Order of Mercy, and he applied to enter it. At the age of 33, he was received on October 17, 1945, at the Our Lady of Mercy Monastery, Novitiate, of Berea, Ohio, a dependent formation house of the Cleveland, Ohio community. Here Howard began the Novitiate on May 5th, 1946, with Father Vito Travisano as his teacher and master. One of this new novice's tasks was to pluck chickens and shovel coal. At the end of the novitiate, he made simple vows at the hands of the superior, Father Sante Gattuso, on June 29, 1947. Meanwhile, Brother Howard resumed his preparation for the priesthood at the Major Seminary of St. Mary in Cleveland. Having already nearly completed his studies and being of age in order to receive the major orders, he asked for a dispensation of the time normally necessary to grant solemn profession. The faculty to, to anticipate it was granted for the period of 20 months and was issued on October 31, 1948. He received the subdiaconate and the diaconate respectively on November 30th and on December 4th in the chapel of the St. John's Hospital in Cleveland, Ohio. Father Howard was then ordained a priest in the Second Church of St. Rocco in Cleveland on December 18, 1948 at the hands of Cleveland Auxiliary Bishop Floyd Began. At the beginning of his priesthood, Father Howard resided in Berea, while on the weekends he went to help in the Church of St. Rocco's in Cleveland. After the celebration of the provincial chapter of 1955, at the closing of the house in Berea, he was definitively transferred to the parish of St. Rocco, where, practically, he spent the rest of his life, about 36 years, as an assistant to the pastor. During all these years of service in the parish of St. Rocco, the activity of Father Howard was countless and varied. He was best known as a compassionate confessor in the administration of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, both in the parish church and outside of it, in visiting the sick in their homes and in the hospital, in transporting the disabled and the elderly from their homes to the church and vice versa, in accompanying pupils from home to school before and after classes, and in providing the most humble services for the good of the whole community. He was always a priest on the go. One of the highlights of Father Howard's ministry took place on Monday, June 5, 1961, 
when he was blessed to celebrate a solemn mass of thanksgiving on the occasion of the 50th wedding anniversary of his parents at their home parish. The couple received the papal blessing and a reception was held at the Hotel St. George. Many family, confrere, and friends were in attendance. Obedient, loyal, and caring, Father Howard did not like to show off, nor did he expect anything for himself, but he knew how to adapt to the most disparate situations. With a jovial disposition, everyone liked him for his simplicity. He loved children very much, and was loved by them so much so that by some he was called the Father Santa Claus of the parish school. In the last six years of his life, due to acute arthritis in his knees, he was forced to live in a wheelchair or in bed. But despite this, even in this condition, he continued to give the help that he could in the church, serenely accepting his suffering and conforming himself to the will of God. On December 18, 1988, he solemnly celebrated the 40th anniversary of his priestly ordination, surrounded by his confreres and by the faithful of St. Rocco's. On that occasion, he said he was always most grateful to our Lord and our Blessed Mother for calling him and giving him the grace of perseverance in the religious life and priesthood. For two years, he had lived in the nursing home of St. Augustine in Cleveland, where a few days before his death, he had been visited by the provincial, to whom he promised to offer his prayers and sufferings to the Lord for the good of the vicar, of the province, and of the whole Mercedarian order, to which he felt bound as to his own family. After receiving the comfort of the help of the sacraments of our faith, he died peacefully in the evening of the 10th of November, 1991. His funeral took place in the Church of St. Rocco on November 14th, preceded on the evening of the 13th by a solemn celebration of the Vespers of the Dead. The confreres of the two communities of Cleveland and those of Leroy and Philadelphia, as well as many priests of the diocese, who had been informed of the death by way of a letter sent from the Chancellor, can celebrate it during the funeral mass in the presence of many, many faithful. After the funeral, the body of Father Howard was buried in Holy Cross Cemetery in Cleveland, Ohio, next to the other Mercedarian brethren. Father Howard Francis Marr, Order of Mercy.